Hello everyone. So I came across this comment and I would I thought I would uh, take a look at it and also make a video about it to show that this doesn't really make much sense and it, it is a little confusing. But we'll get into that. So it said Christian free will and original sin debunked. Interesting. Well, let's see. First, just ask a simple question. If any other human had been put in the garden instead of Adam and Eve, would the outcome have been the same, or would they have had the potential to choose differently, i.e. choose not to eat the fruit? They would have had the ability, just like Adam and Eve did, to choose whether or not to eat the fruit. Now, Eve was deceived. Yes, Adam kind of let it happen, though, um, and he shouldn't have, but that's what happened. Now, could the outcome have been different? Possibly. I mean, that's the point of free will. You can either choose to do what is right or choose to do what is evil. The choice is yours. That's the, that's the point of free will. So, again, I'm not really understanding. If the answer is yes, then why are we being punished? Excuse me. Why are we being punished for Adam and Eve's actions when we could have chosen differently had we been in that exact same scenario? It's because God is unfairly blaming us and God is supposed to be fair and just. So it opens a can of worms that pretty much demonstrates God is evil. Uh, no, because we're kind of in that scenario again. Yes, they were exiled from the Garden of Eden for their bad choices. They made a bad choice and so they were exiled from the Garden of Eden. But we're still in that scenario. We can choose to do what is right, or we can choose to do what is evil, what is wrong. We have the Ten Commandments, and people go against the Ten Commandments all the time. You know? People lie, cheat, steal. Some things that people don't even think about, like umg. OMG, or they hear some crazy, deranged, horrific story, and what do they say? They say Jesus Christ after it. You know, that's taking the Lord, your God's name, in vain. Again, against the commandments, God's telling you, hey, don't do this. It's not good. And people do it. So, no, it. God is not blaming us. We have the choice still to do what is right or what is evil. What's good, what's evil. It's all, it's all our choice. If they answer no, where is free will then? Answering no to this dilemma destroys free will, and that leaves God with no more excuses for allowing murder, rape, cancer, etc. to ruin his favorite humans. Uh, no, because if nobody had free will then there wouldn't be rape, murder, cancer, etc. Because then Adam and Eve would have never eaten from the tree because God said, don't do it, and we don't have free will. So therefore, we would have been, you know, uh, kind of like puppets or robots, really, you know? And it would, we would have just never done it. it. Would have never crossed our mind. We couldn't have been deceived into doing what's evil. Adam and Eve, they would have never happened, and nothing. But then again, yeah, of course, there would have been no free will. So it kind of makes sense, but kind of doesn't, right? Um, the religion is twisted. It tries to encourage you to blame yourself for what other people did. Is he talking about Christianity? Because I don't know where Christianity, I don't know any Christians that blame themselves for what other people did. People still sin to this day. It wasn't just Adam and Eve that did something and now, oh, all of you are bad for it and now you're going to suffer the consequences. You got to read the Bible. There's a lot of things that led up to this. A lot of things. And let's see, let, let me continue. Either we have absolutely no free will or God is evil. Uh, no, we have free will. That is actually, it's proven. 
Yes, we have free will because we have the choice. Now, evil things happen and he brought up an interesting point where, you know, for allowing murder, rape, cancer, etc. to ruin him. Okay, so that, those things would happen because we have the choice to do them. If God stopped every evil action that people took, then what would be the purpose of free will? Because we wouldn't be able to do it. I'm going to go shoot a guy in the head, but, oh, can't pull the trigger. God stops me. Then there's no free will. If I could never do anything that was against him. And I know some of you might be a little swayed by that, like, you know, but listen, God can make something good come out of something evil. Um, there's a story, there's this woman, true story, a woman who was raped. She became pregnant, but she decided to carry it to term and raise the baby. He, that baby became older, became a man, and became a pastor, and led a lot of people to Christ. So, that's something good that came out of something that was evil. God has the ability to do that. But God also lets us choose if we want to do what's evil or what's good. Now, if we do what's evil, and we do not want to repent from that and turn away from our wicked ways, then yes, He's going to leave us completely alone. And he puts us in hell, where we're completely cut off from God. And I know this probably brings up another issue, and I want to bring it up because I've been in the same position, um, where it's like someone might feel really down and bad about things like, it's, it's a habit for me to say, OMG, you can break that habit. Someone might say, well, I, you know... I keep looking at pornography. I, I keep masturbating to pornography and I, I do it behind my wife's back and all this stuff. And I can understand how sin can be an addiction. And to that, to anyone who may be watching who's going through that, I just want to say that there is ways to get help with that. Um, I'm not affiliated with them in any sort of way. They are not sponsoring this video. They don't even know that I exist. <laughs> but I just want to put it out there because it may help. There's programs like one called Covenant Eyes. Again, no affiliation, no sponsorship, nothing like that. Just giving the information out there that will help you when you're on your phone, when you're on your computer. So when you start to look at things like that, it kind of stops you and kind of warns you about it. And I think they even have like a, where you can basically talk about things and things that have helped you like overcome the addiction and stuff like that. Same goes for other things like, you know, maybe you have an addiction to alcohol, but every time you drink, you want to get drunk. And then every time you get drunk, you want to go have sex. And when you're drunk, of course, you're not going to make the right decisions and you're going to go out and have sex outside of marriage um, so that uh, there's you know there's programs that can help with that as well and so I just wanted to put it out there I just felt like you know someone could be watching this video who could be struggling with that and you know they don't know what to do and they, maybe they can't find any videos about it well here it is that there is help out there just a quick Google search you can find the things that can help you so basically, that's all I really wanted to touch on. Hopefully uh, this helped you. Maybe you've heard this before and it's kind of, you know, made you stumble a little bit in your faith or rethink things. Well, hopefully this helped you out. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, share it with somebody if you think it would help them. Also, uh, feel free to leave a comment below and let me know if you'd like to see more of these types of videos. Uh, as just a really quick update, if you were expecting a different video, but you made it all the way to the end of this one, you were expecting a hookah review, um, that's going to be a whole other video. Um, the content is going to be changing a lot. 
However, I will still deliver on my promise to bring you a Hookah Labs. I have not forgotten. I still will deliver on that, but things have gotten really crazy around here, and I've, I have a lot of things that need to be done, and it takes priority. So I need to help my family. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you liked it, Again, please make sure that you hit that like button and subscribe to see more videos like this. Stay safe out there. God bless you and your families. Till next time.